Coronavirus cases are skyrocketing across the country with Florida seeing some record breaking numbers. So let's break down the situation for you. Over the weekend, the state reported more than 11,000 new cases, putting the state on track to hit the 100,000 mark. Sadly, the virus has claimed the lives of 3,161 people, and that includes a 17 year old in Pasco County. Health officials say the teen did not get the virus from traveling, and it's not known yet if he came into contact with someone whose diagnosis was confirmed. Eight on your side's Deanne Roberts. She's live in Tampa, where Hillsborough County Emergency Policy Group they are going to maybe take a big step today to to fight COVID-19. Good morning. Good morning to you. Yeah, we'll have to see because today the EPG will vote on whether or not they want to go ahead and mandate wearing facial coverings inside businesses. Now, this move comes after the city of Tampa as well as the city of St. Pete went ahead and already approved facial covering mandates last week. Today, the Hillsborough County Emergency Policy Group will vote on tightening mask restrictions. If the vote passes, employees and people entering a business would be required to wear a face covering. The county's mandate would not require people to wear masks while outside. Now, the board wrestled with this idea of mandating face coverings in their meeting that took place last Thursday. They ultimately voted on allowing the county attorney to go ahead, draft up an ordinance similar to St. Pete's face covering mandate. Now, the EPG will vote on this today. That's taking place at 1:30. Again, the EPG had this conversation back in April. They voted it down, so we'll have to see how it all pans out today. I'm live in Hillsborough County. Deanne Roberts, 8 on your side.